हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज वी एन गवांदे फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच के के वाक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ड्वेल बीम ऑसिलोस्कोप ब्लॉक डायग्राम इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मेजरमेंट एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम on a screen you can see the block diagram of dwell beam cro or oscilloscope now see carefully the crt of the dwell beam cro is different from dwell trace cro it consists of two electron guns and that is why it consists of two pairs of vertical deflection plates and common horizontal deflection plates at a time on a screen you can see stable um, channel a or cha and channel b signals on a cro screen in a dual trace cro you cannot see both the signals simultaneously stable on a cro screen okay in this case it is possible and so the crt is a quite bigger and heavy and also expensive than dwell trace cro it consists of six vertical sorry six deflection plates four vertical and two horizontal deflection plates now see the different blocks it consists of a channel a input signal and it is having its own pre amplifier attenuator its own delay line its own main vertical amplifier remember in a dual trace arrow we have common vertical amplifier the bandwidth deciding circuit in this case as channel b also consists of its own pre amplifier attenuator delay line and main vertical amplifier there is no any selection either a or b by electronics they are directly applied to its own vertical plates okay now which signal you want to trigger depends on again channel a trigger channel b trigger or external line ac line line or ac signal and similarly the horizontal deflection system consists of trigger circuit sweep generator or time based generator and horizontal amplifier horizontal amplifier and vertical amplifiers are similar but you can see there is no xy mode the sweeping is compulsory you can sweep either with a or b but no plotting of a versus b or b versus a and generally the dwell beam cro is used in research laboratories it is not for the educational purpose to see the de different designing and testing of electronic circuits in research and development laboratories okay i thank you for the patience listening thanks